He has a reputation for chasing the biggest paycheck. But Samuel Eto'o says his focus is on trophies, not dollars. When you look at my career, I've won everything except for the World Cup. It's a question of motivation. I had the chance to go play again in Italy. I had the chance to go to France. Why did I come to England? Because I've never won here. Salary-wise, I was the best paid player in the world. But it's not a question of money, because when I go out onto the pitch, I only have one thing in mind, winning. And I don't think about having money in my bank account or not. I only think about winning, having fun, and entertaining the fans. These are the only things I have in my head. The argument that Etu's a winner is hard to dispute. He's a four-time African Footballer of the Year, former Olympic gold medalist, La Liga and Serie A winner, and has lifted the Champions League trophy three times. Resuming his partnership with Jose Mourinho could produce even more silverware. Mourinho, desde que nos conocimos. Mourinho, since we met at Inter, has always been in my life. We talk almost all the time. We message each other before matches. He's the first reason I came to Chelsea. I worked really well with Mourinho at Inter and we won. And look what happened. I've ended up alongside Mourinho again. While Etu wouldn't be drawn on comparisons with Jose's nemesis, Pep Guardiola, another of his former coaches, the Cameroonian was more forthcoming when discussing one of the biggest transfers of the year, Mesut Ozil's move from Real Madrid to Arsenal. He's one of the best footballers of the last few years. He doesn't score a lot of goals, but I believe that the pass that leads to the goal is worth as much as a goal or even more so. He's a player that guarantees you 20 goals. Xavi, Iniesta and himself are all players that come once every 10 or 15 years. For now, Etu's focusing on his club career, while his international future is in doubt. Whether or not he plays in Brazil next year, the 32-year-old may be getting a little long in the tooth by the time the 2018 World Cup comes around, although he'd happily play in Russia again. I'll tell you one thing. I don't believe that ultras in Russia are more or less racist than ultras in other countries. Racism wasn't born in Russia. The first time I played in St. Petersburg, a lot of people told me, whoa, watch out there. When I came out onto the pitch to warm up, though, the fans stood up and applauded me. Russia will be one of the best World Cups we'll ever have. From Spain to England via Italy and Russia, Samuel Etu is a very modern, globe-trotting footballer but, through his youth foundation, hasn't forgotten his African roots. Everything is possible in life if you dream. While you dream, you have the possibility to do anything. This book is about my life and is funding my foundation. We're building children's hospitals in Cameroon. We've done quite a few things with ambulances, operation centers, all in the interior of the country. I also have a lot of boys who play in Barcelona's youth academy and also one who plays for Malaga. All of them come from my foundation, and it's the joy that I try to share, the opportunity. They have to fight for themselves, for their place, but the first opportunity is what I try to give them. Alex Thomas, CNN, London.